<laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Oh, good, Very well, good, you. good, good. Amazing. Welcome. As so do you. So um, we're here today with our friend and muse, our dear friend Suzanne Becabier, um, who is a well-loved style and image coach. So Suzanne, um, I know we met years ago, but I can't quite remember when. <laughs> I came to one of your uh, soirees oh, yes. in store, yeah. and I think that's how we first met. I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, Le Quirky Chaton who invited me, maybe. Oh, I think I remember now because you came on time and we were running late. <laughs> and, um, I was still like fixing up a display and like stressing out and you're, I was like, oh my god, who's this amazing looking lady in our store? And like, oh no, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think um, our friendship bloomed from basically the time we met. We just kind of hit it off and um, we realized we're both super dorky. Um, we love, you know, crazy fashion and we don't follow trends and um, we're all about slow fashion and like you know collecting small makers yeah I think <laughs> I think so and 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 being um, just being authentically us not being you know no fakeness here <laughs> <laughs> what you see yeah. I think is what you get <laughs> yeah Absolutely. So Suzanne, we have um, three quick fire questions for you. By not following commercial trends and being true to your own eclectic aesthetic, you have really become a trendsetter in your own right. Um, describe your style in three words. Um, quality. I, I believe in quality pieces. Um, I like to have fun with my style, yeah. so fun's really important to me. Um, quality and fun, and I've probably got to say pieces with a unique twist. I like to put a bit of a unique twist on my outfits. Oh, next question. Um, your three fashion icons you love and admire? Um, I'd have to say um, Iris Apfel because she just followed her heart and wore what she wanted and was years and years ahead of herself. Yeah. Um, Alexander McQueen, um, because he just kept pushing through and um, had, you know, I've read his book and it's tragic and it's sad and through all mm. of that came this amazing creativity. Um, yeah. And third one, I have to say, is just every person that dresses for who they are, that doesn't worry about trends, that just puts together pieces that expresses who they are from the inside out. Amazing. And last question, um, best thing about the fashion scene in Melbourne? My favourite thing would be the creatives, the, the people like you, Jude, that follow your dreams, you don't give up, you have a passion for it and you just follow that passion um, continuously. I really, really admire that and I absolutely value and admire the friendships that I've made with people like oh, you. Oh, thank you. And it's people like you that keep us, really keep us going. So. We really value you. <laughs> Please. It's a love fest. <laughs> <laughs> so Jude, let's reverse the table. Oh, and okay. it's time for me to ask you three questions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could you describe your style to me in three words? Um, I would say eclectic, um, individual. Um, like I don't follow trends too much. I don't really want to see what's happening out there <laughs> um, and I would say soulful because I'm, I'm a bit of a mood dresser um, just like you and um, yeah I like to put things together in like weird ways that um, make me feel happy. <laughs> what are your top or who are your top three fashion icons or heroes? I think the first one would have to be Vivian Westwood um, just because like her fashion journey is so amazing, like being self-trained and a school teacher and then the punk movement and also what she does with um, the environment and the social change um, in fashion as well, which is so, so um, important. Um, and then the second one is Jean-Paul Gaultier, because, um, well, I read his biography when I was a kid and he's always been my hero, just like the fact that he's also self-trained and his style is just like like ever evolving and um, it's just like a whole universe of uh, Gaultier. 
Um, and then the third one is Yoshi Yamamoto uh, because of um, he just makes such stunning menswear that is so timeless and you just want to keep wearing it and it's like consistently beautiful. And last but not least, what, is, what are the best things about being in fashion in Melbourne? Um, I think I, can, I feel that I can really express my individuality here with what I do and um, I feel an appreciation uh, for what I make. So um, the artisan and handmade um, aspects of my work, I feel that um, there's a real um, love for it here. Um, and I love that I can um, create a business that is all about local manufacture and um, like in, a, in an age where everything has moved offshore and is so commercial, like I feel really blessed that I can still do what I do. And um, last but not least, um, it's just meeting people like you who just um, are so amazing and you know, um, just like interpret what I do in such a beautiful way. So I just want to thank you so much for doing this with us. It's been so special and I've been wanting to do it for so long. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> oh, Judy, thank you. We're very blessed to have you here in Melbourne and everything you do is from the heart. And that, you know, is precious to me. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>